Hugh, welcome to Christie's Camping Spot. Good afternoon, I'm Christy. I'm hoping you guys are having a great Wednesday. I'm on a little bit later today. I'm hoping the internet connection right now is great. I have a cute little project for you guys today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Make sure my graph is on the right page. Christy, can you guys welcome? Awesome. So today we're gonna make some super cute um, mini Halloween cards. So I love all the Halloween stuff. But I love three by three cards. And so this this is one that I've made. This is with some of that cute um, Halloween DSP and then the little bats um, with the frightful tags in that black glimmer paper that's super cute. And then this is um, the baddie for you is actually from the frightful, um, frightfully cute stamp set so the bundle is the frightfully cute bundle which is the tags and the, um and the stamp set which is such a fun deal and um so and then i use that that some of that black organdy uh glittered ribbon so that's a super cute and then this is of course the cute dsp on the other side love the super bat that's super cute and these are like um really easy three by three cards so it's um six inches by three inches and then scored at three so this one's in the flirty flamingo and here's one that i've just done with the whisper white and you can use the regular whisper white or our basic white or your thick basic white and again it's the six by three and then score at three and then this is little pieces of, of the cute halloween dsp and there's more of that black glitter paper and this one i use the cat punch this is the little pumpkin that is actually from um i think it's the seasonal layers what that's called seasonal swirls um the dies so cute and then a little bit of that fantastic metallic um mesh and then the stamp set of course the stamp sentiment is from the clever cat so isn't that cute it's so cute love 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 and then the two that i'm going to show you guys and we're actually going to make these two um this one is happy halloween it's on a blackberry bliss three by three or six by three by three <laughs> And then I've actually, um, there's two layers that I always use on my 3x3 three three cards. Um, and I've actually used the time-worn type um, 3D embossing folder to give this my basic white layer some texture. And then the Happy Halloween and the bats, of course, the Frightfully Cute bundle. And then the, the stars that's in, this, in the bedazzling paper, the swirl is from the seasonal swirls. So I'm actually going to make that one for you guys to show you. And the other one, which I'm going to make first, is this is To the Moon stamp set. And the Little Witch is from the Frightfully Cute stamp set, as well as the Sentiment. And I just added a couple stars. How cute is that? So cute and so easy. So let's get started. Um, 13 days of Halloween. Okay. So the... Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to be using for this card right here, this swirl is a part of this, um, the season of um, sparkle of the season bundle and it's called the swirl season, seasonal swirl dies. And I'm using the one right here that has um, the little stars on it. You can tell there's like a little pumpkin and um, it looks like there's a little bat in that one too. Although I used the bat that was in, um, the frightfully, this bat one is from a different one. You know what? I didn't realize there was a bat in this, this swirls. Well, there is right there. Maybe I was using that bat instead of the frightfully cute. I think maybe I was using the bat that was from the, the swirl dies and not from the frightfully, the frightful tags. Oh, it is. Okay. So the bat that I'm using is actually from the um, seasonal swirls dies. So I'm going to use the the stars and the bat, and then um, the frightfully cute bundle. I actually use this is the um, the punch that I use or the die that I used for um, for this one right here Ding! that I actually use that stitch to get that bat out of the DSP. So cute, so cute. I don't really. I had it set it down in the wrong place 
really glad I looked. So in the art, um, July to December mini catalog, I love the, they actually have them in a couple places where you can see them. So the, in within the body, it has the, um, as you can see, there's the bat that it, that is the stamp set um, from the Frightfully Cute bundle, which is so super cute. So in the catalog, it shows you really great Im pictures of the images. And then in the back for the bundles, they actually show you all of the dies um, also. So in the bundle index. And then, of course, you can always look everything up um, in the back where they show you on these pages with the index, the catalog at the glance, which I absolutely love. The catalog with the, at the glance is my favorite. My favorite thing about our mini catalogs, besides Chris Plug, which is so awesome. Okay. So, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I love the Frightful Dies, but I am loving this, the swirls. And this one, this also has um, really a lot of great things for Christmas and for um, Thanksgiving. And there's, but there's also a little broom. It's super cute. But yeah, I have to find a way to use that on one of these projects one of these days. Because it's so cute. So cute. Okay. So, um, and then I wanted to mention too, the um, it, To the Moon is in the annual catalog. So there is a moon that's in the Frightfully Cute bundle, but I really like the moon that's up here in the To the Moon. Um, and this is in the annual catalog on page 102. It's this huge stamp. It's so awesome. So awesome. And that's the one I'm actually going to use for um, this card. So you can find that there. And then also in the annual catalog on page 136, where you have our paper ba basics, you can find the basic white 3x3 three three envelopes. And that's the, the envelopes that actually will fit all of these 3x3 three three cards. So it's super awesome. You can have an envelope that matches to, which I love. You can order those. Okay, so let me move that out of the way. Do, do, do. Let's get stamping. Okay, so let's make the, um, the moon one first. Which way to the candy? Isn't that super cute? It's totes adorbs. Totes adorbs. Okay, so basic for basic... Um, most of my um, layers, um, it is, of course, the three by six and scored at three. But what I love is I also have um, basic um, measurements that I use with this. And you can find them in my printables for you on my website. It says um, card measurements. I think it's 2020 is the last time I updated it. But it has all the measurements for, like, my basic layers. And um, usually when I do my layers, I have, um, if I'm going to do an inside layer and an outside layer. So like this one is um, two by three fourths by two by three fourths, and that's the white layer. And then the basic black is two by seven eighths by two by seven eighths. So that fits really nice on the card, and I use that basically for all of my measurements. Okay, so I had all of the things. One piece of black, didn't I? I totally did. So I made one piece of black for this one. And I got two moons in case I messed up on the moon. This is the inside piece. But I am missing my black, basic black piece. And either set it down, I will cut another one. This one here. Do -do -do. I don't think I have like a handful of them that are for different sizes. I don't think these are the right size. I think these are for the little ones. Yep. Okay. So like I said, my basic black is um, for the basic outside is two and seven eighths. So it's two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And so that's, um, I use that basic um, border is my basic border for the two and three fourths, just like that. Okay, so because it is a photopolymer, I'm definitely going to use my stamp and pierce mat um, on here. And this is also one I guess you can also use your stamparatus on as well. I've gone ahead and mounted my um, big to the moon stamp set. This is actually a really fun um, stamp set to the moon. Enjoy this new phase of your life. Um, more thanks than stars in the sky. It's a super cute stamp set. I just love this big moon. So awesome. And I'm actually going to use um, gray granite today for this. 
for our moon. Let's get that nice and inked up. And it's going to co cover almost the entire page. You can see it. It's almost the entire piece of the Whisper White. Just make sure you get your positioned where you want your moon to go. There, I just of course moved it. Just move the whole thing so I can show you guys. <laughs> and I almost went off the page. Ah. Very cool. How awesome is that? Love, love, love. And then we're going to just stamp right onto this moon instead of having like a ton of layers. So I'm going to use my memento ink and I'm going to use um, the which way is the candy. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment first, and I want this to go into the corner. I moved it off there because I, this one is red rubber, and I'm just going to get this so it's right in the corner, just like that. That way I know exactly where I want to put my witch. And so I have, I'm going to put my witch away. Super cute, and again, this is from the Frightfully Cute stamp set. And where did I leave my black? Dude, she's so cute. Okay, and I don't need that because I've already done my red um, photopolymer. And just make sure you get your witch really well inked up. And just to where we want her to go on the moon just like that. It's so easy. Such a cute, easy um, card. And then we're just going to glue on. Let's glue it to. Doo -doo. Get there like this. Um, gray granite. Now on this one I used um, smoky slate and you can see there's just a barely difference. So I used smoky slate and I did stamp this though in gray granite. This time I'm just going to put it on the gray granite. That's a color that I don't use enough is the gray granite but it looks really good with this moon. I think. Awesome! So super cute! Oh my gosh. And then, of course, I'm just going to add some of these cute stars, some piece of sequins onto here. Just add a few stars. I love these stars. They're quite fun. Just like that. How super cute. And then, of course, it's naked if you don't have something on the inside. So when I make my um, inside layer, it's two and a half by two and a half instead of the two by three that's at the top. So I'm just going to, I'm going to again just leave this blank so I can write whatever I want on the inside. If it's just a regular to or from, there's a really good to or from that's in the Frightfully Cute or if you want to write actual message, you can. And then I'm just going to use a strip of, this is like at... I think it's at one eight by um, two. Let me see. A little black strip. And I'll have all these measurements. Yeah, so it's a quarter by, um, oh, it's two and three and three eighths. So just, just under. Looks so cute. And then I'll do that on the back. Just two, nice little black strip. And then I will stamp it with my Stampin' Up! logo from The Handmade From You. And then, of course, you can always, you can just stamp your sentiment if you want to do one of those happy, happy Halloween or whatever. Works very lovely. And that is all. Yay! So super cute. How easy and cute is that? Isn't it adorable? It's totes adorbs. And like I said, it fits 
very fabulously easy into the envelope. So if you want to do, um, you can stamp onto your um, envelope. Super cute. Match. And your card will fit right into your envelope. So adorable. Okay. And then, ooh, ooh, I didn't put the other. Oh, I did. On both. Oh, wait, no, I didn't on this one. And I did put one little sequence on the inside, too, just to kind of bring it together. Those are so cute. So cute. I just love that. I didn't put it on the outside so that it, uh, it doesn't get caught, but you could always add more stars. These stars are so adorable. Love, love, love. Okay, so this one is a little bit more complicated than the simple stamping one. And um, for this one, I, I did the regular um, uh, two by seven eighths by two and seven eighths um, for my basic black layer onto my Blackberry Bliss. And again, it's six by three, scored at three. So this is the two by seven, eight and two by seven, eight layer. And then for my basic white, it's two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And I ran it and the two little strips, um, my two quarter inch strips. Um, I think I did these ones are maybe a little bit bigger, the white, white, two and a half. Uh, actually two and three, two and three. I just did them the same size as the, um, when I cut my white piece. So these are two and three fourths by two and three fourths by a quarter inch. And anyway, I actually put them all in here and ran them under um, through my cut and emboss at the same time so that they match. And I'm gonna add that to the inside. So I did that. So let me go ahead and build this. So I just used some liquid glue again and put my basic white embossed panel onto basic black panel. You, of course, can use your favorite adhesive. I like the glue, even though I can make a mess with it because it does give me a little bit more wiggle room. And then I'm going to just um, add that to this basic black panel to my card front here. Make sure I got my words going the right direction. I want them to go. There's a little bit of words. You can kind of see the words from this time warm type. So I just want to make sure that I get that perfectly. Two, two. Clear it. Get that straight. There we go. So pretty. It looks so cool. And then I used that our uh, specialty um, paper that is a part of the celebration, the Bedazzle, which I'm loving, this Bedazzle, um, Bedazzling 6x6. Six six. And this is one that you can choose um, for free with a uh, $50 order until September 30th. And I'm just going to use a little bit of glue and glue that right down onto my card frame. And these are pretty thick. I don't, I don't feel like I need to use that, um, those adhesive sheets, but you totally can. And that's how you add it to your, um, you actually add it first to your bedazzle paper, and then you run it through um, your cut and emboss machine. Now I've just added that. I'm gonna hold it down a little bit. So it adheres to your card front. So cute. Oh my gosh, those stars are so adorable. Love, love, love. Okay. And then I also used in the same, the seasonal um, dies, I, the seasonal swirls. I used that cute little bat and went to town. I <laughs> made a ton of these little black bats with the, um, the black glitter paper. And um, so I've got a bunch of those. And then I'm going to, before I put the bats on, I am going to do my sentiment. And this is the Happy Halloween to You. It's from the Frightfully Cute stamp set. And this is, I think this is, it's really tiny, the three. Um, yeah, 
it's the um, three eighths. And then I'm just going to cut, um, plus I cut the edge to snip it closed. I mean, snip it after I get the sentiment on. that and I'm just gonna use my paper snips to get it smaller just like that and then I have um, cut a piece of the blackberry bliss and this is the um, I think it's half an inch half an inch and again I'm just gonna set it on there how I want it it and glue it down. Oops, that like really touched everything. And the glue get that on there nice. Ah, so fabulous. And then I'm actually going to use some of the black Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere that to my um, card front. And when you get a combo pack, you get a pack, I think it's two packs of the, the fat, the big ones, and then two packs of the little ones. So that's always nice. You can get a variety. I like the combo pack. And it's fun to have the black stamp and dimensionals. Especially for Halloween. So pretty. Okay. So then you just decide where you want it to go. On your little front. And then after you get your Halloween, your happy Halloween on there. Then I'm just going to use glue dots to attach my bats. I like to use the glue dots instead of the glue. The glue dots give, um, so they're, they give it a little bit of dimension and, um, but not as much as like with the dimensionals. So I'm just going to use the glue dots. And then even though they're a little bit bigger than the wings, I can use my fingers or you can use your take a pick tool to kind of um, make sure that you roll it just a little bit underneath so that it works. I'm going to have one bat where it's going a little bit over. You can see it's going to go over the edge just like that. And then I want the other two bats. I love this black um, glimmer paper. It's glitter paper. It's so pretty with the dazzle paper. Okay. Kind of know where I want those ones to go. And again, using the glue dots and rolling it with my fingers. Just like that. Putting them here. On my <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. I love these. So what would you use little ones for? You're going to give like a little gift or um, just to say hi, they're so cute. And what's really fabulous about little ones is if you have made a project and you have a bunch of like bats left over or a cat, if you're, you know, I love that cat touch. Um, it, these little cards are fun to make. They're a great um, little thing. And with it, you can get the envelopes that match. Um, makes it even more awesome. They're so cute. Look at that, how adorable is that? And super simple and cute, right? And again, we need the inside layer. And like I said, I make my inside layer um, two and a half by two and a half. So you could probably still use the same two and three fourths by two and three fourths if you don't want as much of a border on the inside. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the um, piece of embossed basic white just to add a little bit of texture just adds a little bit of texture and fun to my inside by pulling it in just around the outside 
Let's see. I love these little ones. That one again. And then let me let me see what I can buy. Um a couple of these right here. I can stamp my Santa Nook logo on the back. My handmade three stamp set. My handmade winter black. Super awesome. And then I want to add, I have a bunch. Like I said, I need a bunch of these little bags. I have a bunch of extra ones too. I think I want to add one on the inside as well. I think I'm going to add one right here. So cute. I already got roll it just a little bit. Of course, you can add more if you want. They're so cute. Just like that. Muy bien. How super cute and easy is that? Like I said, um, Stampin' Up! sells the little the little 3x3 envelopes. Basic white envelopes. So you can stamp on there. If I wanted to do the Happy Halloween. Just like that. Super cute. And then I guess I could still do the um this is the frightfully cute stamp set and there is a little bat well i haven't trimmed it yet let's see Let's get in here so without getting any bad skin and add it to here awesome sauce And then you have a matching envelope. How adorable is that? Super cute. Love, love, love. So in this one, I did it in the basic black. And in this one, I did it with the Blackberry Bliss. It, there's not that much of a difference in how it looks. But um, you can choose if you like it. And then, of course, this is one that I did in um, the gray granite. The, the card base is in gray granite. And this one, the card base is actually in the smoky slate. You know, but I stamped it in the, the gray granite. But it looks good with both. If you want a variation between the moon and your um, card, then I would definitely use a smoky slate. But if you want it snappy matchy, 100%, you love that gray granite. Super cute. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick um, mini cards. I love mini cards. I said here's made the other one with the um, with the kitty cat punch, the cat punch, um, and that's the pumpkin that's also from that seasonal layers. And then here's more bats. And this one I actually added more stars as well with the batty for your sentiment. And then I um, used the die cuts to die cut out that bat from that cute Halloween DSP and put it on the DSP reader. So this layer is actually a little bit different than my regular white layer because I wanted to show more of the black. And it is the two and a half by two and a half. Can see what the two and a half by two and a half looks like and then i just added a piece of the dsp on the back <gasps> super cute so i hope you guys enjoyed this is what it looks like on the white these cards for day six i just love mini cards they're so much fun and easy to make and they are so fabulous to give out i hope you like them and I just want to mention we have um, I have my little doo -doo -doo thing about um, we have upcoming the, the next two paper pumpkins are going to um, be hol holiday themed. The next one it matches our peaceful place um, suite in the um, July to December mini catalog. And it is so super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. And then again, I don't know if you saw, I posted earlier today that they had the instructions to make the wheelbarrow from um, this month's kit. I can't wait to get it. I know it's been shipped. Um, I'm excited. And then of course it is celebration. So if you order in my online store with any order this month until the 30th and use my September host code, I will send you um, the Celebration Mega Bundle. Um, you can also purchase it um, 
in my online store but under tutorials for purchase but if you order anything from me i will send it to you for free and it's two links 39 um tutorials in both imperial and metric um, measurements as well as all of the um supply and complete supply list that we use all of the fabulous products in the celebration and there is actually um examples of every item in this book so it's not like it's all on the sheets which are super cute so cute they're super cute but um or that there's something for every item in there which is pretty awesome so you can get that for me and as well as if you order um with your uh thank you card if you order fifty dollars or more i'll also send you a pack a free pack of the black mac um dots for me as well so and that's when you use the September host code. And of course, like I said, it is celebration until um, September 30th. And it, so it's a great time to join Stampin' Up. And I'd love to have you on my um, Stampin' Lovelies team. But our, our joining special um, this month is our starter kit is always the best deal because it's $99 for $125 worth of products. And um, you get free shipping, which again is also a great, is a great deal. Um, plus a, a free um, a sample of paper pumpkin, but with celebration until September 30th, you can also pick a free bundle from the January to December mini catalog. So um, that makes it an even more um, way to, to save the best, the most money is to get in on that. And I love, 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 love being a demonstrator because I get to see all the things early and order early um, as well as until the 22nd. Um, although for new demonstrators, they've opened a special period for them, but we're going to have on stage and it's going to be at home, which is our convention. And we're going to get a chance to pre-order stuff, um, for next year's catalog. I'm so excited for the next, um, the next mini. So after the Christmas, um, and the next celebration, it's so exciting. There's just always something awesome happening with Stampin' Up. So, um, I hope you guys have a great, um, Wednesday. I know I missed yesterday. It was my husband's birthday, so we had a day full of fun stuff um, planned, so I didn't get a chance to get on, but hopefully this worked out better and later, so um, I will be coming on a bit, I think, a bit later because my internet is a little bit more stable then. But um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, and happy crafting. Bye.